certain is that these are bad people and we look forward to working closely with the Blair government to deal with the issue. My parents went to Pakistan and they saw a bride for me. Mom come back saying that I should go out to Pakistan and get married. So I got a ticket and I went. <laughs> I didn't really want to go because I had a job I was working, but she was telling me it's, it's, bit, it's time for you to go to Pakistan. Okay. I left from Birmingham Airport, and from there I went straight to First Lover. And then I caught a taxi to my village. I was there for about four days. I saw the girl and I decided I would get married. So I found Rule. Hello, Rule. I said, Wagwan. Wagwan, man. I heard from you, Lung, man. Well, when he asked me um, you know, to, go to, to go to his wedding, I thought, yeah, why not? And the day he's my friend and I should go. And also, it'll be a great holiday. <laughs> Come back soon. I'll come back soon. I'll come back soon. Bye. Me and Shafiq Adwaniya got a cab to the airport. What's that? You ready, yeah? Yeah, man. I wanted to go to Pakistan's wedding. Plus, I hadn't been to uh, Pakistan for like 13 years. And I wanted to see some of my family again. You got passport, yeah? Yeah, got it. Visa, everything? Yeah, right, money, yeah? Yeah, I'm doing good, man. How are you? Well, everything's good. Yo, I believe you're going to Pakistan, man. You're going to Bali. You're going to be mad. You want to take turns swap the seats? Yeah, man. <laughs> Mania was a very nice guy. He was Bengali like me. He would never say anything bad against anybody. We landed at Karachi. We didn't want to stay in the hotel because we thought it'd be expensive. So we went to a mosque. Crowds marching in the streets of Karachi today. Organized by Pakistan's Islamic parties, their supporters of the Taliban. It's one sign of the political turmoil that seems certain to follow American military intervention in Afghanistan. I spent about a week in Karachi. I walked around, sightseeing, going shopping, just chilling out. Shafiq so went to visit his family, so me and Munir had a few days to ourselves. They were supposed to come to the village, but instead I ended up going to Karachi. Bye bye. When Shafi came back to Karachi, he brought his cousin, Zahid, with him. Where are you from in Pakistan? I'm from Multan. Multan. Yeah, man, good. Who was my like kind of like best friend, yeah, even though he was Bengali. I've known Asif since the day he was born. What's been going on, man? I've been shitting, man. Mainly I've just been shitting. 
It was Friday prayers and we were walking past the mosque. A lot of people were going in, so we went in with them. People get hyped, you know I mean, and they start shouting slogans out. The preacher was saying you should help the Afghani people wherever you can. And also, he was thinking of going over to see what Afghanistan is really like. If everyone agrees to go, then we go. Because there's only 250 rupees here. Both for going there, yeah. Going, for, one, for experience, and two, to help, you know, the food there as well. You know, the non. Big nuns, you know that. Yeah. It's a big nuns. That's that the main thing. I see nuns. This big. Yeah. They're the food. What language they speak there? Can speak Urdu to them or what? I think they speak Pashto. Right? Pashto. We don't know. Basically, uh, the only Urdu. way we know is when we go and see it. Grab that. Grab that. Put. No, shit. Yeah, better. Yeah, better. Give him the rice on that man. No one's even eating it. Hey, roti ke saath khali. That's what we're doing in Afghanistan, man. That'll be a good thing. You know what I mean? Basically, while I was there, the two weeks. The whole people I spoke to Pakistan, they were saying, oh, Afghanistan's not going to get attacked. So, we jumped on a bus stand, off we went. The bus driver hit someone and uh, we all got out to look. The bus driver just disappeared, he ran off. So we had to find another bus driver to drive us to Quetta. When we got to Quetta, we had to change buses. Before we got to the border, we stopped at our mosque. That's how I got left behind. Rely on them for food and health care and to explain their needs to the outside world. I got my motorbikes, we paid them, I think, 100 rupees, and they took us across the border. Why don't we come back tomorrow? Settle, 